I'm Elise, and in this video, we are gonna be doing a pop-up tent review. There is a link to the product in the description of this video. This week's travel review is sponsored by Carry Clips. Without further ado, let's jump right into the review. So this particular pop-up tent, as I said, the link will be in the description of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up out of the case. As you can see, it comes with a carrying case. And this is gonna be a series of several pop-up tent reviews. So if you didn't watch the other videos yet, be sure to go back and watch those now. Or, well, after you watch this one. There'll be a link to the playlist in the description of the video as well. Okay, so it is now out of the case. And it has a little tie around it, so you're gonna have to undo the tie. Okay, so to put this tent up, you're gonna pick up the main center part, let the legs drop out to the side, and then each leg is going to have to be unfolded. Okay, now where's the door? That's the door, okay. All right. So once you've done that, you are going to pull up on this center part and all of the pieces should lock into place. Now, if any of your legs didn't quite engage, you may have to walk around the tent to pull them out. And then you're gonna take the top and push it down. That's gonna secure the tent. Now, this particular tent I set up outside and it was there, like it moved a lot in the wind. I actually had to have another person get inside the tent to hold it steady so that I could assemble it and so that I could stake it down. So this particular tent, if you're gonna be in a high wind situation, I would not recommend it. Um, the fabric is also quite thin, so rain is probably not going to be your friend in this tent. If you want to be able to survive some rain, you would definitely want to waterproof it. This tent is supposed to be waterproof, but I don't really buy it. I would definitely recommend using something on it if you're planning on being in any kind of weather. Um, let me get... It does come with a rain cover, but the fabric is also very thin. So same thing here, I would still waterproof the rain cover. Now, you can see the rain cover does go very close to the bottom and it has an opening for the door. So if you were using both the rain cover and the tent, you would have to unzip two doors to get into the actual tent itself. This tent also does have two doors, one on each side, so there's a door here and a door here, which is kind of nice, um, but this is the tent. So it is a pretty fast setup. Um, I would recommend it for fast setup. There's a problem with the waterproofing. The floor is also very thin, so I seriously doubt it's gonna keep any water out. So in addition to this tent not really being windproof or waterproof, it also doesn't fit for people like it says on the pox. It is also incredibly difficult to put away. I wouldn't say difficult, but time consuming. It does take time to put it away. So the setup is pretty fast, but the teardown is gonna be just the same as any other tent you usually deal with where you're trying to get all the fabric together and shove it into the bag. 
So keep that in mind when you, if you're, what you're looking for is a fast tent. So if you've made it this far in the video, comment fast right here on the video to let me know that you're coming to a pop-up tent because you're looking for something fast and just that you kind of made it this far in the video. I'm going to show you now how to tear this, this tent down. As I said, this part of it is not fast. So just keep that in mind. Again, this is a series of several pop-up tents that I will be reviewing, and I do have one that's my favorite. So I suggest going and watching that playlist to find which pop-up tent I recommend. Okay. So to tear this down, you have to actually take the leg and bend it back up like this, and it's going to sound like you are breaking it. You're gonna have to do that on all of the legs. All right, once you've done that, you are going to take the two bars that are here on the top, you're gonna to squeeze them together to release the tent. So we've squeezed those together and now the tent has actually released. Now I can go ahead and fold it all together. Some of those legs have reopened as I was walking around. So you're going to have to refold them. So you may have to make it sound like you're breaking it again. And you're going to simply walk around, bringing in all the legs. And I say simply, but as you can see, it isn't all that simple <laughs> if you have just one person trying to do this tent. Okay. I recommend trying to keep the um, rain cover with the tent because it should make it easier to pack than trying to keep it separate. All right, so now comes the part where we try and shove it in the bag. I'm going to try and tie it back up because that does make it a little bit more simple. Don't forget to subscribe and sign up for notifications right here on my channel so that you can see more reviews of the outdoor and travel equipment that you need for your life to live your dreams. Um, and I hope to see you on my next video, but let's go ahead and get this all packed up. Okay, so we have tied it makes it a little, more, a little bit more manageable, but now we still have to get it in the bag. And I can tell you that this is very difficult for one person. Um, I will attempt it, but more than likely, I'm gonna have my beautiful assistant come and help me in just a minute. But I will try it by myself, because I want you guys to be able to see exactly how easy or difficult this is. So we are going to try and get it small. I don't know why they always make these bags so small. <laughs> like, if you just made it a little bit bigger, it would be easier to put stuff away. All right. All right. Now this is the fourth time I have put this tent away. So as you can see, I do have it down to a science. If you decide this is the tent for you, I would definitely recommend making sure that you keep the rain fly with the tent. That makes it a lot easier to put away. And keep the little tie or have a bungee cord with your tent so that you can go ahead and squeeze the air out a little bit with that because that again makes it a lot simpler. All right, so that is it. We have actually put that tent back in the bag. So if you've made it this far and you made it through this entire video, I wanna say thank you for watching me and helping me help you live your dreams. Be sure to tune in for the next video. Have a great day and live your dreams every single day. Bye.